Okay, so all my American viewers will know that today is the start of what is known as March Madness, where all the best college basketball teams come together and basically play this massive 64 team tournament. It got me thinking, what if that happened in FIFA, but what if it was even bigger than 64 teams? Today, we're gonna be creating the biggest tournament in FIFA history. Yes, that is right. A tournament that is going to include a total of 256 teams and only one team can win. So here is how this is gonna work. I have divided each, well, there's four regions, I should say, and each region is gonna consist of teams from specific leagues. So let's run through each region and show you the teams that are gonna be competing. So this is region one from tournament one, and this is the Premier League region. All of the Premier League teams will be in, and then the best teams from these remaining leagues, the Liga Nos, Eredivisie, MLS, the Danish League, and then the Championship. So it's basically led by the Premier League, all of those teams, and then teams from the other leagues will just be splattered in. Tournament number two consists of La Liga, Ligue 1, and then the other two leagues being Liga MX, and then the Super League, which is the Turkish League. So this is the La Liga, Liga inside of the tournament. Tournament three is going to be the Syria Bundesliga, and then they are going to be joined alongside the Chinese League, and then the Belgian League, which is the pro league so as you can see there's like one or two leagues that are sort of running the tournament those are where the best teams are going to be and then the smaller leagues follow and then rounding it out the national team tournament this is tournament four it is going to be led by the best national teams and then we have the scottish prem rest of the world and then the argentinian and brazilian league all right so each of the four regions will have a total of 64 teams we're basically going to play four separate tournaments going to get the winners from those four tournaments and then the winner of tournament one will face the winner of tournament tournament two in the semi-final match the winner of tournament three will face the winner of tournament four in that semi-final match and then we will have our two winners which will come together and play for the final all of this of course being done through the tournament mode straight knockout straight 64 teams there will be one leg that's right no two legs you're one loss away from being kicked out so Whatever team wins, wins every game. Okay, so all the teams are filtered in for tournament one. This actually takes a while to do, but here are your favorites going in. You see Man City, Liverpool are going to be the, the two main ones to look out for. United, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal, Leicester. It's all the Premier League teams up top. They were the ones who led the group. But then we have some sneaky ones like Befica and Ajax and Porto and Sporting who could potentially be some spoiler teams and i'll just run you through every single team and remember the matchups are randomized so you never know we could potentially get man city versus liverpool in the very first game odds of that are unlikely but it could happen and here we go i'm gonna be simming through all the games if i sat here and showed you every result y'all would be bored out of your freaking mind but let's see some matchups to highlight if i noticed anyone like you know that could be a good game i'll let you know but you guys can obviously look for yourselves as well hmm so far so good a few Premier league teams coming up against each other leeds versus bayfica could be a good one on that screen but i had oh my god ajax psv oh my god both of the ear divisi teams have been put up against each other that's kind of crazy there and i mean yeah nothing really catches my eye there's no like you know liverpool man city matchups but this is the thing it is one game and you're out so you never know some big clubs could potentially slip up let's get into this tournament all right so i have played out basically the entire tournament we have four teams remain i have tried my best not to look at any of the results so this is the first we are seeing are there any well i guess i'll show you the teams that won but there there wouldn't have really been any upsets because there weren't really any big matchups but there are your winners moving on and um i mean yeah from the looks of it all of the big clubs won i don't think any of the big clubs fell to the teams who were you know lower than them all right round two this is where it gets interesting chelsea takes down man united spurs beating la galaxy okay everything looking pretty normal there Ajax beating Burnley, so Ajax beat PSV. New York Red Bulls beat Arsenal. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Bayfica moving on, Crystal Palace, and of course, Liverpool beats Leicester. Man City moving on as well, so is Everton. Round of 16, will we get to see a big, big upset? I think the biggest upset so far is New York Red Bull over Arsenal. No real surprises on page one. Page two though, Man City beats Everton. Crystal Palace beats Befica. And with eight teams left, Chelsea, Ajax, Crystal Palace, and Liverpool. And here are your matchups. 
Chelsea, Ajax, and then Crystal Palace in Liverpool. Man, that's just like set up for Liverpool to win it. Here we go. Let's see who wins tournament one. I'm going to be showing you these three games right here to get the winner of this first tournament out of the way. Chelsea moves on to the final, but they're most likely going to be playing Liverpool. I really... I really just don't want to see Liverpool go through, man. I oh, I like Liverpool in real life. In FIFA, they piss me off because they just win everything. Here we go. Crystal Palace. Do it. Come on, Crystal Palace. Ah, oh, man. I tried to hope. I tried to pray, pray. Here's the only thing. I haven't edited any of the starting 11s. You may have noticed VVD is not in the starting 11 for Liverpool. And that's just because that's... Is he in it? Oh, wait. He has been in it. Okay. Never mind. I'm completely wrong. Van Dyke is in. So here we go. The winner of tournament one is... It's Liverpool, bro. I actually hate Liverpool so much. And before we get into the next tournament, we need to advance first. This is what we wanted to see to end it. The top goal scorers, Timo Werner, man. Look at this Nottingham Forest player as well, getting five goals as the second top goal scorer. And Jordan Henderson tied for third. What? Into tournament two, we have Liverpool as our first team. This is going to be La Liga, Ligue 1, Liga MX, and the Turkish League. And these are the teams competing here. Here are your top favorite teams, Real Madrid, PSG, Barca, Atleti. You'd expect one of these four to be the winner. I really just hope in one of these tournaments we get an upset team that makes it through. Like, it'd be dope to see Sevilla go through in this one or basically any other team besides the top four right here. It'd be awesome to see any of these other clubs go through. And let's see these matchups. Here we go. You'll see stars next to some teams and stars next to others. I've decided to control a lot less teams. The reason I usually control every team is because once every one of your teams is out, you don't get to see the winner if they're all out before the final takes place. So I've just controlled all of the like top like 50 to 40 percent of the teams and all of the like teams that I don't expect to win. I'm not controlling. They could still win. We'll see what happens. Imagine we get a big matchup here in this one. I want to just see like give me Barca and Real put them up against each other. We don't get to see it. Valencia Monaco is a good one. Sevilla Pumas. Where is, um, there's Real Madrid. Okay, so not too many big, big matchups unless I've missed it. I, I definitely could have missed it. There's a lot of information in front of me right now. I will get to simming and we will see you yet again when we have four teams remaining left in this second tournament. All right, let's see who has made it through these simulations. I'm not gonna lie, they take so long. And PSG has gone out in the first round. Oh my god. That is the first major upset that we've seen today. That is absolutely insane. PSG has been knocked out. Okay. Atleti, Barca, Monaco. All of them are still in. Madrid's still in. Lille's still in. I cannot believe that, bro. Wow. Lyon versus Marseille. Wow. These are some big matchups so far, man. Real Madrid beating Lille. And every other big club remains in. Round of 16. Madrid is out now, too. Oh my God, they lose to Bordeaux. What is happening? Tournament two is giving us all of the upsets. Oh my God. In the other matchups, Barca and Atleti played. Barca goes through. And Monaco. Oh my God, these matchups. Okay, the teams in the semifinal. Real Sociedad, Bordeaux, Barcelona, and Lyon. This is perfect, bro. Two Spanish teams. We have one French team and one Mexican league team in this final four. And let's see it. The winner of this tournament, remember, is going to be taking on Liverpool in the overall semifinals. So this is going to be an interesting one. Bordeaux, bro. What the hell? They are definitely the most shocking team out of this entire thing right here in Barcelona. It's literally Barcelona's to lose at this point. If Barcelona don't go through, I'd be shocked. Lyon, they have a chance. Okay, and can Bordeaux do this by first beating Madrid? They are the underdog pick. Will they be able to do it against Barcelona? Have they done it? Have they done it? They have not. Man, what a run for the French side, but it all ends there. Barcelona wins tournament number two. And before we get into tournament three, here are your top goal scorers. Messi up there and... Ori is or dude, I can never pronounce this guy's name. I'm not, you know, I'm not even gonna try it. I don't want to make myself look like a fool, but 
Those are your top goal scores. Here we go. Tournament number three. This is Syria, Bundesliga, Chinese League, and the Belgian Pro League. All right, here are teams in slight change because we had a few teams that were just super low rated. So I've added a few leagues in. We've added the Swedish League, Norwegian League, Poland League, Poland, Polish League, I can't speak, Japanese League, and the Korean League. So just a few teams from each of those. So you're going to see here are all the top teams, and that as we go towards the bottom you're gonna see just yeah a bunch of teams so we have a very big variety in this one and if tournament four is the same where we don't have enough teams above like a i try to keep it above a three star but you can see we have a few two and a half star teams it just it just happens there's just not that many high rated teams in fifa and since we're doing 256 teams it can get a bit difficult but let's check out these matchups we've yet to see any big clash in the first round and it's probably going to be that way again piemonte against cologne we'll Wolfsburg against Fiorentina, Milan against Anderlecht, Roma Club Bruges. So not like massive first round matchups, but they're still good nonetheless. Hoffenheim, Hertha, Berlin, Leipzig, and Torino is pretty good. We have Bayern Munich there, Dortmund, Lazio. Okay, I mean, yeah, like I said, not too many massive matchups, but some big ones nonetheless. Tournament number three. I just want one of these where we get an unexpected winner making it through. Here we go. Let's get into the simulating and yet again we'll see in the semifinals and here we are if you notice in the top left hand corner i've kind of just given up on naming the tournaments because there's a bug where you, whatever tournament name you create it doesn't matter it just defaults to my tournament just one of the many bugs in this game so here we go let's check out who won tournament number three roma eliminated by club bruges in the first round that's the first big I don't even know. That's not you. Club Bruges is a good team. We won't even call that an upset. Torino beating Leipzig. Maybe a bit of an upset there. And um, as for round one, that's about it. Atalanta out. That actually, it's kind of a big one. Here is round two. Inter going out. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. That's kind of a big one there. Piemonte through. Yep. Yep. Oh, God. I just went on to the round of 16. Okay. Well, let me just speed through this. Bayern Munich, Napoli, Dortmund. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you see all those. Boom, boom, boom. I actually went through round 16. You already saw these results. Dortmund losing. Wow. Napoli goes through. Piemonte, Bayern. Dude, we, we're just going to probably assume that Piemonte or Bayern. One of those two is probably, if I had to guess, they're probably going to go on and win. Oh, my God. They both lost. No way have they both lost. Sassuolo. I know that's wrong. Oh, my God. Sass Sassuolo. Sassuolo. Sassuolo, I think it's one of those pronunciations, but they have beaten Piemonte Calcio. Oh my God, I hate that so much. Bayern Munich loses as well to Napoli. Wow, so this is the first one where we're probably going to get a surprise winner. And here are your matchups. Two of them I wasn't even controlling because I didn't even think they'd make it. All right, here we go. Napoli is, I would say, definitely the favorite in this one, but you never know. Yep, okay. Napoli goes through RIP to Tassuolo. We they had so many upsets. Crazy. And here is Leverkusen against Hertha Berlin. Winner takes on Napoli. It is going to be probably Leverkusen. No, it's Hertha Berlin. Hertha Berlin against Napoli to win tournament three. I bet none of you would have predicted that this one right here would be the one. that would be the final matchup. And the winner is... It is... It's Napoli on penalties. Oh my god. And your top goals goal scores from this one, excuse me. Here they are. Chira Mobley and a few others, man. Hertha Berlin, what a run. And that's yeah, the first upset team makes it. It's Napoli. In the final tournament, this one is gonna be so interesting simply because it includes national teams. So wow, this one, yeah. This one is going to be really interesting to see who wins. This is by far going to be the toughest group of them all because there are just so many good national teams. Obviously, all the national teams are going to be up front. Are there any club teams in there amongst the top? It doesn't look like it. The best club team is this Brazilian team, it looks like. Then we have a few others like Boca in them. Of course, a lot of the Brazilian and Argentinian teams that are in here don't have real names just because yeah the, the leagues are are kind of stupid like that but here is all of them yeah the worst team is three and a half stars this is definitely the best one of them all and to be honest i actually might need to control a few more teams because you never know we could get a lot of upsets here and i'd be mad if the final was like austria and poland and we didn't get to see 
a winner out of those teams. Here we go, looking forward to this one. Let's see. There's bound to be some big matchups in this one. A lot of big national teams facing off. Colombia and Italy are in there. We have, it's gonna be funny. We're gonna get to see national teams play some of the teams in their actual leagues, probably. France, Wales, man, maybe not. Maybe there aren't gonna be, it's crazy. Argentina, Uruguay's kind of a big one there. Kind of a big deal. Germany, Scotland. Again, Portugal, Ivory Coast. Man, I was expecting like a France-England matchup. There's something like that. All right, you know the drill. One final time. Let's get down to the final four. And then after I sim all these, we'll get into the actual overall final four. The winner of this group is going to be taking on Napoli. And we already have Boca losing first round to Turkey. All right, here we go. Which national teams will have made it the furthest and which ones will get up? France has lost to Wales, bro. Oh my God. God, what the, f I just knocked something off my desk and it was this chip clip and it just went like that, but more like, like that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. That If you're wearing headphones, what is going on right now? I'm just shocked that France lost. Mexico loses as well. Not as shocking it was to Norway. Argentina threw. England loses first round, bro. That is the most England thing to ever have happen. Other than that, yep not too many upsets of course the u.s loses first round italy too losing to colombia second round here we go netherlands through switzerland through germany loses to belgium oh my god we have france and germany i would expected both of them to be in contention to win this thing bro when they're both out wait where is spain at hello spain loses to poland spain france england germany all the favorites and they're all gone dudes th it, this has just been getting crazier and crazier as we go portugal now they're out what is freaking happening argentina's at least still in in the quarterfinals the four finalists are gonna be switzerland belgium art belgium argentina and poland and it's argentina poland switzerland belgium let's go here it is who will be moving on as the fourth team we're about to find out first team into the final of this one is belgium hazard gets the game winning goal in argentina against switzer no sorry argentina against poland you would expect messi to come up big we could have two Lionel messi's as our final four teams here because barcelona's already made it poland has just beaten argentina imagine poland goes through that would be the, the, the literally the craziest thing ever here we go the team that will be moving on is was it it is Belgium. Oh my God, what a run from Poland. And it's our goal scorer in this one, Arnautovic for Austria, led it with four goals. And it all comes down to this one final tournament, 256 teams, and we're down to four. Now here's the thing, I want it to be Liverpool versus Barcelona and then Napoli against Belgium, but I believe once I enter this tournament, it's gonna get randomized. So we have no way to actually tell who's gonna be facing who until now. Save the tournament. And here it is, the matchups. Barca Napoli in Liverpool against Belgium. So this is it. Cue the dramatic music because we are about to get the winner of the biggest tournament ever done in FIFA history. I'm pretty sure this is it. Next up, I might have to, have to just figure out a way to do a tournament with every team in FIFA. So here we go. The first finalist is, it is Barcelona. Messi with a chance to prove his worth. Napoli, credit to them. Incredible run. They made it so far. Liverpool, Belgium. I would be so happy. Please, Belgium. Please, please. No. Oh, man. If Liverpool wins this, I'm going to be so upset. 256 teams down to two. Barcelona, Liverpool. Drum roll. The winner of the entire tournament. The biggest tournament in FIFA history. It's gone to Barcelona. Liverpool loses. That's all I'm happy about. Let's freaky go. Leo Messi. And it's PK who scores the game-winning penalty to win it. And Henderson misses the penalty. Whoa, my goodness. Oh, my God. There it is. 256 teams. And Barca proves themselves to be the best. I can't believe that. There it is. The tournament comes to an end. Barcelona 
the best team in FIFA, they are at least in terms of this tournament. If you're watching one of my videos for the first time, I trust me, I don't hate Liverpool. I Liverpool is awesome in real life. I love a lot of their players. I just hate how much they freaking win in FIFA. Every time we do an experiment, they win. So it may look like I'm not a Liverpool fan. I just I hate how good they are sometimes. Like they just always win. And we end. Wow, look at that. That's just there it is. The champion Messi with this trophy. We end it all. Congrats to Barcelona. What an episode in honor of March Madness beginning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which sort of tournament you want to do next. And with that, we'll catch you boys later. Peace. I need an angel.